Sun Princess is Princess Cruise's newest mega ship to date. Heidi and I got a sneak peek at Sun Princess at the Think and Terry shipyard just last week, and we want to share all the details with you with this exclusive look at everything we know about Sun Princess up next. Welcome aboard, cruisers. I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise so you can see the world one port at a time. And as mega ship enthusiasts, we were super excited when Princess Cruises invited us to Think and Terry Shipyard in Italy to get an exclusive tour of Sun Princess during construction. We were able to spend over two hours exploring the ship and heard all about the innovative new features from several of the executives at Princess Cruises. And of course, we want to share all those details with you in this video. So let's dive in. Now, those of you who aren't familiar with Sun Princess, this 175,000 gross ton ship is the largest and most innovative princess ship ever constructed, and it's set to debut in February of 2024. Sun Princess is going to be part of a new Sphere class of vessels, and it's a 21 deck vessel that will accommodate over 4,000 guests at double occupancy. The ship will consist of redesigned and elevated amenities and venues, but will still stay true to the cruise line's heritage, and will feature brighter and lighter decor and finishes inspired by rays of sunlight. Now, during our time at Fincantieri, we spent about two hours on board the ship, and we were escorted by Richard Parker, Princess Cruises Director of New Builds, as well as executives from public relations, marketing, and other departments. According to that team, Sun Princess will be an evolution of the Princess Cruises brand, which is a word we heard quite often during our trip there. Now, the Sierra class is very similar to the Excel class of ship, which you can actually find on several Carnival Corp brand cruise lines such as Carnival Cruise Line and Costa. However, executives indicated that designers were given a blank slate when conceptualizing the venues and the layout of this new cruise ship. And as someone who's sailed on Carnival Celebration, another Excel class ship, we can attest that this ship seems a lot different than that vessel. Now, one of the major changes that we've noticed right off the bat is that the cruise line has shifted the piazza, which is the main interior public spaces, up to deck seven through nine, and they moved the outdoor promenade deck to deck nine. Although the ship's iconic sphere, which is this curved wall of glass located on both the port side and starboard side of the ship, actually extends from deck seven to deck 16. Cruisers will also notice a few popular venues are now in new locations. Most notably, you can say goodbye to the pool deck buffet. The cruise line signature World Fresh Marketplace is now gonna be on deck nine on Sun Princess. But don't worry, there'll be plenty of bites to grab near the pools. Most of our tour of the ship did focus on decks seven through nine. While the director of new builds, Richard Parker, wouldn't elaborate on the additional dining options coming to the pool deck, you can check out the deck plans, which do reveal some details. For instance, the current deck plans on Princess Cruise's website show several small eateries near the pool, including a pizza parlor, a taco stand, a salad bar, and a grill. Now to us, these outdoor eateries do resemble similar venues found on Carnival's Excel class ship, like Carnival Celebration. Although for the most part, the similarities end there. Princess Cruises also reimagined the guest embarkation experience with the landing on deck four. This embarkation point will be utilized for both tendering with Princess luxury transfers and docking pierside. Not to mention this area can double as a meeting space as well. For us, the space seems very similar to the destination gateway found on Celebrity Edge class ships. As I mentioned, Sun Princess takes Princess Cruise's signature three-level piazza to the next level with ocean views in every direction. It also will include a central LED screen for live entertainment and plenty of comfortable seating for relaxing and socializing. Now there will be entertainment in the piazza and one design improvement that this ship has over other Excel class ship is that there's actually tiered seating areas and tiered standing locations surrounding the three-deck piazza. That way, it gives individuals better views. Along with entertainment and piazza, guests will be happy to know that there are plenty of food and drink offerings nearby. For instance, there's a new coffee bar, Coffee Currents, along with other princess favorites like Bellini's, the Crooners Bar, and Alfredo's Pizzeria featuring the best pizza at sea. Another first for Princess Cruises and Sun Princess is the newly envisioned Horizons Dining Room, which is a three-story dining space, the first ever on Princess Cruises fleet. This reimagined venue is open and flexible, featuring dining options to suit every mood. Spanning decks six to eight all the way after the ship, 
The highlight of this venue is a decorative sculpture along with stunning wake views and tons of natural light. The three decks of this dining space will have their own personality. They will offer different dining experiences with the most casual deck eight space leading out to the wake view terrace area, which we'll get to in a few minutes. During our time there, we did learn more about the dining options on Sun Princess, but there's gonna be so many eateries and restaurants that the cruise line indicated that there will be a further reveal sharing more details to come soon. So make sure to stay tuned to Eat Sleep Cruise for those dining updates. But for now, we do know that Sun Princess will feature a number of firsts for the brand, but will also include many familiar favorites. Chief among them, as we already mentioned, is Alfredo's Pizzeria, which has an open kitchen and new open mouth oven that reaches 968 degrees. Alfredo's Pizzeria will also have an outdoor seating on the promenade deck. The cruise line favorite Crown Grill and Sabatini's Italian Trattoria specialty restaurants will also be modernized. The cruise line signature steakhouse Crown Grill will feature leather seating, custom artwork, and the largest show galley on a princess ship. Likewise, Sabatini's will feature geometric designs, an intimate bistro style nooks, and a pasta room to observe the pasta making process. This pasta making display kitchen actually makes all the pasta for the ship, and they hinted that they might even offer classes and demonstrations for an upcharge when the ship sets sail. While there will be new dining concepts coming to Sun Princess, as we mentioned, the executives were a little hush on details. However, this is where those deck plans on the Princess Cruises website comes in handy as they do provide some initial hints. For example, the deck plans list a teppanyaki restaurant on Deck 8. If this is accurate, it will be the first ship in the fleet to offer such a Japanese-style steakhouse. Also, the deck plan showcased something called O'Malley's Irish Pub. We didn't receive any details about this new venue, but it is possible that this will replace a salty dog gastro pub found on several princess ships. Finally, tucked around the corner midship on deck eight is a mysterious black door. All Parker would tell us is that this will be the entrance to a brand new immersive experience. The secret new venue has us very intrigued. The signature of Princess Live on Sun Princess has also been enhanced and it'll actually combine elements of the Princess Live found on other ships with the guest favorite Explorer's Lounge in a semi-open space. The venue will offer signature cruise activities like game shows, trivia, and the Daily Wake Show, along with full beverage service. Additional spaces, which will have new designs on Sun Princess, also include the Shops of Princess, Crooners, the Wheelhouse Bar, the International Cafe, Good Spirits, and the Gelateria. New to Princess Cruises Fleet is a cutting-edge entertainment space inspired by the terraces of Santorini. The dome on Sun Princess is a multi-level covered deck and a first-at-sea true glass enclosed dome. During the day, the dome features an indoor-outdoor pool so guests can enjoy this area no matter the weather outside. There's also a unique water feature and plenty of comfortable seating. At night, the dome completely morphs into an entertainment venue with a South Beach vibe. The pool transforms into the stage with state-of-the-art lighting effects and stunning aerial performances. Now, a very unique space that we got to spend some time in is the new state-of-the-art Arena Theater. The Arena Theater on Sun Princess will be the most technologically advanced entertainment area in the fleet. To us, the new design resembles the theater found on the Celebrity Edge class or Holland America Line's Pinnacle class of ships with a circular central stage. However, this in-the-round configuration takes that design step one further with a semi-movable seat design. We have to admit that the theater is not as morphable as say Virgin Voyages or the Norwegian Prima theaters as only a small sliver of the seats actually can move. Although the Arena Theater on Sun Princess will feature three different seating configurations to maximize sight lines and deliver captivating performances. Now all the way on the other end of the ship, on deck eight aft, we learned more about what might be our favorite venue yet on the ship, the Wakeview Terrace. This area will be home to an upgraded outdoor pool deck with a cantilevered pool overlooking the wake, tiered seating areas, and a bar. This might be the best place to chill out on a sea day. According to executives, this space will be open to everybody and it will be all ages. And another interesting venue that we only got a little preview of Overlooking the terrace, there'll be a brand new specialty restaurant. While the concept has not been finalized, the ship designers are referring to this new eatery as Altitudes. 
And while neither of us are big gamers, one area of the ship that actually the executives were really proud of was the Sun Princess Casino. As you would expect, since it's the largest ship in the fleet, this will also be the largest casino in the fleet. And it's located in the Piazza and will feature over 200 of the newest and most popular slots and video poker games. And even though the ship is in mid construction, you could definitely tell this is a very large, wide open space. Perhaps some of the most unique updates to the ship are the newly appointed staterooms. Sun Princess will feature 2,157 total rooms, including 50 suites and 100 connecting rooms. The staterooms boast more balcony space, and all balcony staterooms will now feature an in room sofa. Essentially, all of the balconies are now going to be a deluxe balcony category or better. And honestly, one of the critiques we've always had about Princess Cruises is their standard balcony cabins are rather small when compared to the competition. In fact, both times we sailed with the cruise line, we were in a room that didn't even have a love seat. Perhaps something that's even more interesting is that the ship will be the first in the fleet to offer no obstructed view cabins. That's right, all outward facing staterooms will have uninhibited ocean views. The cruise line was able to accomplish this by strategically placing hardware like the lifeboats in specific areas of the outdoor promenade not to hinder stateroom views. Another interesting tidbit we learned during our tour is that the staterooms on Sun Princess will not be any larger than other ships in the fleet. According to Parker, the new design just better utilizes the space in the cabins and they're reconfiguring the closets so there's no longer going to be that walk-in closet near your bathroom. But you can also rest assured that there will be no more shower curtains in the bathrooms. Which again, another knock we've had on Princess Cruises is that their bathrooms for a premium cruise line are pretty small and pretty meagerly outfitted. Launching on Sun Princess is a new level of suite accommodations, the Signature Collection. This is very similar to the Haven on Norwegian Cruise Line and the Retreat on Celebrity Cruises. So guests staying in these suites will have access to an exclusive restaurant, lounge, and sun deck. However, these spaces will not be centrally located like other ship within a ship concepts. Additionally, the club class will now be called the Reserve Collection, and this is actually a change that they're making across the entire fleet. These mini suites are situated in the best locations on the ship and include access to the Reserve Collection restaurant. During our tour, I specifically asked if the Reserve Collection restaurant and Signature Collection restaurant would have a different menu similar to, again, the Haven or the Retreat on Celebrity Cruises, and the executives wouldn't confirm that it would have a completely different menu. Within the Reserve Collection, you'll also find the Reserve Collection Cabana Rooms. These resort-style staterooms offer a balcony and a private cabana with an extra-large outdoor lounge space. These cabins will also have access to an exclusive cabana deck found both on the starboard and the port side. The ship will have approximately 74 of these cabana staterooms. And if you've sailed on an Excel class ship like Carnival Celebration or Carnival Mardi Gras, these cabins appear to be in the same area as the Havana rooms, which also have their own exclusive sun deck. Of course, guests sailing on the new Sun Princess can expect a medallion class experience, delivering personalized cruise vacations with the use of a simple wearable device and the medallion class app. In fact, executives were really excited about the possibilities of medallion class on the ship as they claim this is the first ship that was designed from the ground up to completely utilize this technology. Of course, the medallion class enables a number of technologically enhanced features, from a seamless check-in, to locating your shipmates once on board, to even a point-to-point -point wayfinding system. Taking a princess cruise on Sun Princess using this technology will be effortless. Plus, there's also Ocean Now, where you can order food and drinks to your exact location on the ship. And while the Ocean Now can be hit or miss, Parker did indicate that another benefit of designing the ship is that they've strategically designed even crew areas by strategically placing galleys or service bars in certain areas so you can fully utilize the potential of the medallion class technology. Also, there's the medallion pay where you can make contactless payments on the ship and ashore in select locations. After seeing Sun Princess in person, we can't wait to see all these new concepts come to life and get back on board this really unique vessel. If you're like us and you need to get on board as soon as possible, Sun Princess will sail an inaugural spring summer season of Mediterranean cruises with departure points in Barcelona, Rome, and Athens. Following a transatlantic crossing, the ship will sail eastern and western Caribbean voyages from Fort Lauderdale 
in the fall of 2024. And don't worry if you're not able to get on the ship, the cruise line has already ordered a second Sphere class ship, which is slated to arrive in spring of 2025. If this exclusive first look at Sun Princess has you super excited to sail with Princess Cruises, but you're new to the brand, don't worry, we have you covered. You should check out our complete video of everything that's included in a Princess Cruise trip, plus what will cost you extra. In that video, we detail all the inclusions that are a part of cruising with Princess Cruises, dining, the entertainment, and onboard activities. Plus, we warn you about some of those hidden fees the cruise line doesn't tell you about. That way you know exactly how much to budget for your trip and you won't return home with sticker shock.